Oh, I've seen that. Ah, oh, that's another Destiny video I saw. Yeah. Um, about birds fe feeding birds at the farm, oh. and they said when scarcity was removed, then the birds were nicer to one another because they just started feeding wild birds. And I was like, Are you mad? Hmm. You know you're fucking with the entire uh, entire uh, fauna around you, right? Because the birds are going to get used to it, and they will yeah. come back. And they will get really angry if you don't have any food anymore. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be Hitchcock all over again. <laughs> uh. And also what yeah. they didn't do, they just had one video, and they never followed this experiment through, which really pissed me off. Because yeah. they didn't show um, how having not to work for their food and always having all the food they want, mm. this would cause the birds to breathe like crazy. Yeah. And then there would be scarcity again. Unless they increase the amount of food, and it was just it would just be more and more birds every time they look. Yeah. And yep. if Destin doesn't intend to feed a growing amount of birds all the time until the rest of I don't know the existence of the Earth or whatever. Oh, but that's they why they have. Dying. That's why they have free energy and they have <laughs> unlimited food supplies. The, replicators you know, resources yeah. you know that destiny has all that technology they just yeah. they just it's just it's just not here yet but they have it they have some special link to it and, and you know sooner or later they're going to show us mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah they're going to show us the understanding of quantum theory and machine building mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, science fiction technology yeah. <laughs> it's really it's it's a magic plot convenience box in the wall you can do that in movies. You can't really do that in real life. But I think... there's always it's or someone knows, someone out there that we still have to recruit. <laughs> now, now, some of the things that they that they they talk about as far as that stuff's concerned, some of that stuff is is potentially conceivable in the future. Maybe yeah. not this century. Maybe next century. But mm -hmm. it has. But it, it doesn't have anything to do with free energy. It doesn't have anything to do with unlimited resources. Uh, you know, you, you, you can't just make, you know, an infinite amount of food out of the planet. It's, it's just, you can't. Mm. You know, I, I, I mean, I used to be into the free energy thing, too. I used to love the idea. I was like, wow, this is awesome. I mean, if we can get some of this stuff going, I mean, oh, we yeah. solve everything. But it's for free. Mm. People love stuff that's for free. <laughs> The thing is, you eventually have to, you eventually have to go. Okay, it looks like this stuff's, you know, a load of crap, you know, and just kind of step away from it. It's, it's just not a credible uh, vehicle for solving the world's problems. It's, it's just, a, it's a pipe dream. What, what's this new uh, conspiracy theory movie? Uh, Thrive. <laughs> oh my god, that, that guy just, and he's just going on about a free energy machine. I'm like, oh boy. Yeah, I've got one in my garage. <laughs> and Spamman will build it. Yeah, have you have you seen that movie yet, uh, Rob? Which film's that? Thrive. It's the new conspiracy theory movie. Oh, another one. <laughs> Yeah. Is it on YouTube? It, it's it's not as grand as like it's, it's not as grand as uh, Zeitgeist. Um, I mean, if you were to compare Zeitgeist to this one, you, you'd probably say uh, Zeitgeist had better, you know, film. Like it had better direction. You know, mm. you could you could tell it's a better quality film. I saw the um, <clears throat> a follow up film to the um, you know Loose Change, the um, conspiracy theory uh, nine eleven truth uh, film there. Did you ever hear of that? Didn't that start off as a as a student project? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, they did another one mm. uh, with the cooperation of uh, of Alex Jones as well, uh, supporting <laughs> their project. Surprise, surprise! He's always making money off stupid conspiracies. Called Invisible Empire, and um, it was pathetic. And at the end of the um, the video, they were basically making. Um, as proof that, you know, government is hypocrite, uh, hypocritical. They had um, talk about, like, um, conservative Christians who are, like, uh, closet homosexuals. As if that's <laughs> proof of New World Order. 
You know, it, it was really bizarre because apparently there was this um, like um, gay porn uh, porn star who was hired to work in the White House during the uh, last couple of years of the Bush presidency. And he was working for one of Bush's advisors. And they, well, the, the advisor was basically a uh, closet homosexual who hired this guy for whichever purposes. And they say, oh, that's proof that, you know, these conservatives, I mean, if it was on the Alex Jones channel, it would be, you know, that's proof of these conservatives, they, uh, they're not real conservatives, they're not real about Christian values, uh, you know, this kind of stuff. You know, when they talk like that. Anything and everything is proved to Alex Jones. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, everything's an inside job as well, you know. Everything. <laughs> it's, it's a bit like, uh, I remember Alex Jones saying about the underwear bomber and, uh, you know, uh, loads of other instances. It's all an inside job. You know, everything is uh, the CIA, despite the CIA actually not being as big as some of the other uh, agencies in the US, obviously. So, you know, everyone points the finger at the uh, CIA and they forget about the other, um, like, the huge amount of resources and power and, you know, money pumped into many of the other agencies. You know, they're just basically focusing on yeah. one group and forgetting the rest, even though the CIA are... Um, not exactly the cleanest organisation in the world, obviously. You know, they are pretty dark in some of their ways, but even so, it's like they're not the only ones, you know? Mm. But uh, mm. that's typical. Well, the interesting thing about, I think, about uh, Alex Jones uh -huh. is here's a guy, he, he makes his money from being paranoid. He's yeah. going to be more, even more paranoid than, you know, probably what he should be. Mm. You know, it, I mean, it's, it's like hyper paranoia. It is. Didn't he claim that he had more subscribers than this, uh, the Young Turks channel? Oh, yeah, I heard about yeah. that. Uh, yeah, I saw that. And, and more views it, as without well. Without a shirt on. Yeah. Because he doesn't care. <laughs> His viewers care. <laughs> <laughs> I care. I almost got blind. That's gross. <laughs> Yeah. There's some people I don't need to see naked. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, just, just be glad uh, it, it was, you know, from the uh, the chest upwards because uh, <laughs> <laughs> anything else. And thank goodness YouTube does have guidelines. Otherwise, you'd do that as well. You know, thank goodness. <laughs> he'd probably have a conspiracy about his uh, lower abdominal region. Yeah. <laughs> They've been using. Oh, <laughs> take a look at this right here. Something's wrong. <laughs> I, I, the the, uh, the 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 soap industry has an inside job and it, 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 it's it's polluting everybody with these chemicals and it's turning your 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 genitalia into into uh, black mushrooms. <laughs> or it's harp. Yeah, they use it's using its its uh, weather rays vibration <laughs> things. It's it's a, it's affecting the size of my genitalia. <laughs> in the Disney Portal Channel harp, or however you would call that. Well, they said something about it, and I was like, what's harp? Mm. <laughs> I didn't even know about half this stuff. <laughs> yeah. It's like, yeah, it's, it's stuff, it's it's chemicals, it's everywhere, and don't ever get any vaccination, and don't drink tap water. <laughs> and uh, what did that Destiny woman say? She looks so young because there's conserving chemicals in the food supply. I'm like, yeah, that's how it works. Mm. Absolutely. <laughs> that's how chemistry works. I don't know. They are just you've mad. To, you've got to admit, uh, those people are easy to impress. <laughs> yeah. I, I've got a couple of friends out there who um, basically troll conspiracy theorists. They set up a, uh, a channel, and in fact, they, they basically pretend to be a conspiracy theorist. Like, taking bits from the news and saying, what aren't they telling you? And, and the conspiracy theorists go mad for it. A friend of mine, um, I won't mention who it is because I don't want to blow his cover, but basically he's got a channel where he's basically uh, got hundreds of thousands of views and uh, I believe over 100 subscribers uh, over the course of the last uh, month of putting up around about 100 videos on Nabooru, aliens, um, certain news stories as well, and just suggesting, is there something more to it? He's managed to receive, you know, um, a very quick like ascension, really. You know, he's managed to develop uh, quite quickly as a channel just by spinning, well, 
nonsense theories. <laughs> Works quite well, you know. It's it's a good yeah. little trick. Yeah, it'll you work. know what's the best trick? Talk about makeup. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not kidding. There, there are uh, makeup people. People who do uh, tutorials or product reviews. That's such a huge market on YouTube. That's oh. almost as big as cute animal videos. Oh. Or, or you can just show your boobs. Oh. Yeah, that helps too. What's the name of that? Um, I can't remember her name now. Is it um, Minky or Minky or something? <laughs> that's what I was talking about. Yeah. Uh, that's 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 the one we were thinking of. She's yeah. so funny. She is. Yeah. But, you know. But I think Destiny needs more boobs. <laughs> they do. She's got uh, makeup tutorials. Definitely. Yeah. 